Good morning and welcome to our Facebook Live this morning. My name's Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley which is in Northamptonshire in the UK. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's Monday morning the 30th of May if you're watching us live <clears throat> obviously if you're watching us on catch up it could be any time of day or night and any day so um do say hi where whether you are live or whether you're watching on replay it's always nice to know who is with us morning uh kerry well evening to you kerry in australia i hope you've had um a good day and a nice weekend so our plans for today are to use some of our new mini embossing folders now i'm not sure how much detail you can see on this camera just going to try and angle it slightly so there are two of these mini embossing folders in a pack in this particular pack called let's celebrate we have one that's got congratulations in lots of different languages and the other one has happy birthday in lots of different languages including um, French, German, Welsh I can see um, and then we've got Italian, Japanese some I have no idea maybe I need to look them up <laughs> uh, Dutch and French I said so they come as a pack of two and they are narrow. Morning Susan. Like so. So this is um, just over three inches, about three and a quarter, just under three and a half inches wide. And it fits our mini embossing machine, die cut and emboss machine. Obviously it will fit in our large stamp and um, cut and emboss machine and you could put th uh, two through together but it's really good for small backgrounds for cards especially note card sized but obviously you could um, put one in multiple times to get um, an all over design so here is the happy birthday one if I put it behind there you might see it a little bit better it's difficult obviously with the screen and the reflection so there's the happy birthday one. And you can find these in the embossing folder section of our new catalogue on pages 176 and 177. If I just open this out, we actually have five sets of these dual embossing folders. Just make sure I hadn't missed any on the next page. So on the left hand side we've got Let's Celebrate, we've got Elegant Eucalyptus and then on the right hand side we've got Thanks and Hello, Stripes and Splatters and Wintry. So the Wintry has got snowflakes and um, like a spruce, like a Christmas tree, fir tree, Stripes and Splatters exactly as you can imagine. The thanks and hello are like the ones that I'm using today, but obviously one says thank you, one says hello. And the elegant eucalyptus has some trailing eucalyptus leaves and a beautiful um, pattern in the centre. I'm just checking. So the pricing is slightly different. So the let's celebrate, thanks and hello. Are both seven pounds fifty and the elegant eucalyptus stripes and splatters and wintry they're all 3d embossing folders so they're more detailed and they're nine pounds fifty for both of those okay let me show you the cards and these are actually the cards that we're making at coffee and card today in Brackley so I've got this one here and I've teamed it with hand penned petals, which is this stamp set, one of my favourite stamp sets that's carried over. 
an open design and you can either use these elements to stamp in or you can just simply colour fairly quickly. So I've got this one here with petal pink. I'll just bring that up a little bit. So I've used petal pink background and petal pink and mint macaron for the leaves. I've added a little bit of bling in there. These are on our note cards and envelopes. Um, and what's nice obviously about these is that they are embossed and so good for um, sight impaired people. I know Susan who's watching does a lot of work with um, creating cards for sight impaired people. Mind you, they need to be able to um, <laughs> read French, German, Italian and the like. But it still gives that, gives that effect. And then this one here. I've done with the other design from Hand Pen Petals on Coastal Cabana. If I just bring that up a little bit, hopefully you can see that. Hi Carol, thanks for joining us. Hi Sarah and Nikki, who are both watching. So, when you run this through the mini embossing machine, it comes out with it obviously embossed on one side, debossed on the other. And obviously, as this is wording, you won't really want that side. But if you're doing just an all over design, you could use either side of that for your um, card. So let's get started. So I'm going to use um, this gorgeous grape piece here. And it doesn't really matter which one of these I use. Perhaps I use... Congratulations, as I've got someone to congratulate today. So I'm just going to pop this in. And obviously, within reason, you can choose the elements on here. So this has got congratulations here on the right-hand side. So if I wanted to, I could bring this right the way over so that the word congratulations is actually on our card. making sure that's roughly straight okay I am just going to put a bit of tape around this just to hold that in place I wouldn't normally do it because I've got it right on the end and when you put these through your embossing machines you always want to make sure the hinge goes in first if you put it in this way you can force pressure along the embossing folder that can um, break the hinge especially if you've got a brand new machine or your um, plates are brand new and it's a tight fit so the rollers of machine when you first get a machine obviously at their tightest and over time they will um, the pressure will open them up slightly so you just need to be aware of that and never um, with a manual machine never force um, the plates in so for embossing um, I've written on the back here not that you can see it particularly well embossing folders are plate number three and plate number one and we just literally sandwich our folder in between the two make sure I have got it the way I said I would I'm just going to move this down and make sure. So what I like to do is push it to engage and you'll see the handle move. And then you know that it's in position. So I'm just going to wind this through like so. And it's going to clunk as it gets to the end because I've got the embossing folder right at the end. Okay, let's just take that little bit of tape off. I wouldn't normally put that on, but because I was moving it around to show you. Okay, so there is our panel. I'm hoping you can see some of that at least. Okay, just tuck that to one side. And this is going to go on to a note card. So I've got a note card and envelope. And I pre-cut this to size. 
so this is five inches across which is the same as the note card and three so three and a quarter inches high some of them were different sizes um, so that it goes right across there like that so I'm just going to pop that onto our note card just use a little bit of seal hi D so I hope everybody had a nice weekend for us here in the UK obviously it's our Jubilee weekend celebrating the platinum Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II so there's lots of activities and things going on depending on where you live okay so that's created our background now you can also use vellum and it really stands out with vellum because it, the where the embossing is it goes quite white because of the pressure okay so that's that layer and now I'm going to stamp our flowers and cut them out so I have a die for this for hand penned petals and I'm hoping it's going to fit on there yes just about let's just bring in my stamping mat I'm not sure that's nicely attached so 30th of May can you believe it <gasps> two days left of May And then we're into June so the 1st of June marks our retiring list for our spring summer catalogue and in there are items obviously that are retiring and not carrying over and the carryover items you will have already seen in the new catalogue so I will be doing a run through of the retiring items um, either tonight, I might do that tonight, tonight or tomorrow because there's quite a lot of good discounted items but you will need to be quick on um, Wednesday morning on the 1st of June um, because I think some of the um, highly discounted items will go very quickly. Um, so I'll pop up a post when I do the run through of that and all I do is I take the catalogue I've marked on it what the retiring items are and their prices um, and I just go through fairly quickly page by page to explain the retiring items and also confirm anything that is going through. So I've got some Highland Heather pens so just a light, lighter than gorgeous grape and I've got some granny apple green colour pens for our leaves. So I'll just do the leaves first. Use a little bit of dark granny apple. Glasses are off. So I'm just using the markings that the artists have provided where there would be a natural shade or darker area mm -hmm. I think that's all of the leaves and then it's the light one And this is hand penned petals it had some beautiful papers to go with it those are sadly retired so in general all of our papers retire at the end of each catalogue there are occasional exceptions so for example some Christmas ones I know have carried over the painted season ones So I'm not doing any technical colouring, I'm literally just blending the lighter colour over the darker one. And it is a quite a nice sketchy design, so you could be um, quite quick in your colouring. You don't have to do it in any detail. 
and there are stamps that you could use to colour these flowers straight in if you wanted to. There we go. And I'm just going to use some light and dark Highland Heather and just doing the same. Just using some darker ink where those lines are and here and they're not really layered on top of each other so you haven't got shadow effects to worry about if you don't want to and then the lighter one this one is definitely running out let me see if there's any more ink on the other side So you can tell it's running out because of the noise. If you hear that scratchy sound, let me just see if I've got a new one at the ready, which will make life a lot quicker. And indeed I do. So they come as a pack of two. So there's my light one. And so you'll see the difference when I do this now. So I'm using the wider edge only because it's a bigger area to cover. and I'm going to use just a little bit of yellow in the center probably um, mango melody mm -hmm. let's go over this like that Now, obviously, you could put any design on here. If you were doing a mail card, you could just replace the flowers with uh, a die-cut car, balloons, really anything else. So I've just happened to have chosen flowers because, as you know, I like them. But they could really be anything there we go so just a light bit of coloring in a little bit of yellow in the centers and we can put it together hi Jane so voila okay so I'm going to use this die <coughs> to cut this out obviously you could just cut around the outside if you wanted to um, but let's pop that on there just using some tape to hold it in place so it doesn't move too much while I'm talking like that and then let's get it out of the way but we're going to bring in our plates and for cutting, I use number three and the two acrylic plates because you can't cut on to the grey or the white plate. So that's going to be my sandwich like that. Let's bring in my machine. Just pop that there. And again, push it so that you see the handle rotate. And then just wind it through. So this is our mini machine. You can buy a full-sized one but for many of our stamp sets the mini one will suffice. Obviously it doesn't take the large embossing folders. So there's our design there. It's going to go across whichever side you want it on. 
and then the final thing is to add a sentiment so I've got a, a pre-cut banner which I think I'm going to pop there and so I have got oops, Daisy um, best delivery so this would be quite a good one you could put the um, lorry on there but what I'm going to do is I've got birthday wishes here and sending lots of love and if you look at this one here I've got birthday wishes just on its own so I'll show you how I did that now I could stamp it in gorgeous grape but I've got espresso to hand so here is birthday wishes Let's pop it onto a larger block so and all I'm going to do is take the birthday wishes and ink it up on the edge of my ink pad so that the bit underneath is um, not inked up at all and sometimes you'll find it easier to do it on the short side because there's nothing um, there's nothing underneath to get caught so I'm just going to ink this up a few times and just to show you I'm going to stamp on the back Oh, it's not very inky, is it? Sorry. That's better. So have a practice on the back of your die cut. And there I've just got birthday wishes rather than the whole um, message, which is signed, sealed and delivered. And what I can do is decide that I'm going to tuck this in and therefore I want my birthday wishes over on the right hand side so I'm just going to repeat that sorry if that's slightly out of your sight let's just do that so you can see it and I'm going to stamp it on the right hand side we are so now what I can do is layer this up tuck this one underneath like so so let's pop this up on dimensionals which I have here I seem to end up with ed edges when I'm doing lives and that's because my main dimensionals are always in my bag to go okay so just a reminder the retiring list for the January to June catalogue starts on early morning of June the 1st so it's actually 11 o'clock tomorrow night and I'll do a run through so you can see what is retiring it's also the um, tomorrow is also the last day to join our team and get your free in colour pack so we've had 10 people um, join our team this month and that's always an indicator of what a good deal it is. It's a good deal at any time. But what it is in May is for £99, you can choose £130 of your own, um, for your own choice of products. And you also get £62.50 worth of our new in colours. 
So that includes all of the ink pads, a pack of card, a pack of designer paper and some special grid paper in those colours. And that's absolutely free on top of your standard joining offer. It's a great way to stock up on in colour items, but also we have great fun as a team. Um, so it's not just joining um, for the deal, it's joining to be part of a fun, communicative team. We're very supportive, we look out for each other, we have um, all sorts of things going on that are absolutely optional to join. So we have a birthday club, we have a swaps club, we meet once a month in person, once a month online. And obviously also you get the benefits of being able to buy your products at a discount. So 20% discount from day one. That's net discount, not on the VAT. There's no minimum order at any time. So you can order, you know, £50 at a time, £5 at a time. But you do pay post and packing obviously on each order. So um, use that sensibly. So if that is of interest, um, just give me a shout and I can send you the details. But you do need to sign up before tomorrow. Um, I would say no later than 10 p.m. and ideally well before that. OK, so that is our finished card. Let me bring that up to show you. I will add a little bit of bling like I have done on here just to finish that off. But I hope you like the design. And I look forward to crafting with you again really soon. So we'll be at Toaster this afternoon in Northamptonshire. And then I will be live again here tomorrow at 7pm. Um, but I might pop on. Thank you, Kerry. I might pop on and um, do the run through of the retiring items to give you a bit of time to um, prepare anything you might want to order from the 1st of June. OK, thank you, everybody. I hope you have a good day, um, afternoon, evening, depending on when you're watching. Um, I appreciate your support. Thanks for joining me. Do take care and I hope you can keep crafting. Bye for now.